Hello everybody and welcome to our service of Evensong. If we say we have no sin, then we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dearly beloved brethren, the scripture movereth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble or cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with a humble, lowly, penitent and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary, as well for those of the body as the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying after me, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may return from his wickedness and live, and hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh Lord, open our lips.
The Old Testament reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 60. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see, or they gather themselves together, they come to thee, thy son shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged. Because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee, the dromedaries of Midian and Ephar, all they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedah shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebaioth shall minister unto thee, and they shall come up with acceptance upon mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud, and as the doves to their windows? Surely the isles shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first, to bring thy sons from afar, their gold and silver with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel because he has glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favour I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come to thee, the fir tree, the pine tree and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down to the soles of thy feet, and they, sh and thy sh they shall call thee the city of the Lord." the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Here ends the first lesson.
The second lesson is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 3. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I come upon thee. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name from the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, these things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which they say are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man may take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Here ends the second lesson.
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you.
and desire that which thou dost promise, that so, among the sundry and manifold changes of the world, our hearts may surely there be fixed, where true joys are to be found, through Jesus Christ our Lord. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works to proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be said to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Light in our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let us pray. God Almighty, we praise your holy name in this joyful Easter tide. We thank you, Lord, because through your death and resurrection, we have won the victory and your redeeming grace and love. Loving Father God, fill us with new life so that we may love one another and do what you want us to do in sharing your love with those who don't know you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, we ask your blessing on our church, and particularly on our annual general meeting this week. Give wisdom to Rod and all our church leaders, and help us to plan for the future. Amen. Lord, we pray for all those we know who were confirmed last week and have received communion today. 
increase their faith and draw close to them. Amen. Lord, we remember all those we know who are ill. and We lift them to you for comfort and healing. We remember especially those suffering from COVID in India. We pray your blessing on that situation. Christ, our life, you are alive in the beauty of the earth, in the rhythm of the seasons, in the mystery of time and space. Alleluia. Christ, our life, you are alive in the tenderness of touch, in the heartbeat of intimacy, in the insights of solitude. Alleluia. Christ our life, you are alive in the creative possibility of the dullest conversation, the dreariest task, the most threatening event. Alleluia. Christ our life, you are alive to offer recreation to every unhealed hurt, to every deadened place, to every damaged heart. Alleluia. You set before us a great choice, therefore we choose life. The dance of resurrection soars and surges through the whole creation. It sets gifts of bread and wine upon our table. This is grace. Dying we live, so let us live. Amen. of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, 
Father, Son, and Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.